morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Once again, I am Pastor Dr. Daniel Oki of Divine Purpose Motivational Ministry Incorporated, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. I'm coming your way again with this wonderful scriptures and a title of this message is Oh Lord, establish my work. Oh Lord, establish my work. As a matter of fact, there is no one that has the power to be what he is designed to be. It is only God that has the power to make you what he wants you to be. Now let's go straight to the scripture and read Psalm 90 from verse number 14 to verse number 17. Psalm 90. And it says, Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Hmm. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto their children. Verse 17. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. May it be that God established the work of your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to let you understand really that early satisfaction to whatever area of your life, in marriage, in health, in academics, in business, in ministry, is actually the desire of God for you. Early satisfaction. And so we are actually going to, you know, make this, you know, episode an episode of prayer. Yes. I just want you to know that when we are the type that is prayerful, we will be able to get any satisfaction. And so, the Lord is the one that establishes the business of your hands. If you want him to be the one that will establish that business, beloved, as you are watching right now, begin to bring those business before the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, it is expected that God establish your business. There are so many people whose business is established not in God. And it does not take too long. It crashes. God is actually the one that owns everything. The Bible said in Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. If you put your business in the hand of God, you will establish it. But very unfortunate, so many put their business in the hands of occultic powers. So many put their business in the hands of babalawos, using charms, using all manner, you know, of spells, incantation, enchantment. Such business will not last. The establishment of any business is absolutely dependent in the hands of God. And if God has established your business, you will not have reasons to, on a yearly basis, you are going to pay a sacrificial homage to that power that has been the source, or you think is the source of your business establishment. Well, I am saying this because I know it's only those who are not children of God that will do that. If you are a child of God, you should know that God is the one that establishes business. So I want you to look at it again. Think twice. That God will establish the business of your hand. The Lord will establish the business of your hand. Oh yes, oh yes. In the midst of principalities and powers, if God establishes your business, I tell you, you will still have satisfaction. You will still have satisfaction. Daniel is a case you know, that we can always look at for a very wonderful example. The Bible said, Daniel, he was in the midst of magicians, sorcerers, 
and all kinds of wizards that were, you know, in the reign of the uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar's, you know, regime. And so Daniel was one of them. Starting even from school, the school of the Chaldeans. These were people where, you know, they learned to do magic. So, but when it came to pass or it came to time, they were done from their school. The scripture said Daniel, you know, was found ten times better than all other, you know, Chaldeans that were in the same school. So, the, the job was given to him. And this job was given to Daniel and he's still coming to work in the midst of magicians. Oh, yes. How many of us are in a market and then in your business place, you know, you think you are, you know, free? There are forces that are also fighting, but I want to assure you, if your business is given into the hands of God to establish, no powers of darkness can fight that business and bring you down. No powers of darkness can fight that business and take your head. It is very impossible. Hallelujah. And then another thing I want to let you understand, because the reason why so many people are running, you know, into looking for powers to be able to operate their businesses is because they don't understand what is time. Everything in life, the scripture says, has a time and season. Can I tell you this? That every, you know, fruit that you see in the market, every product that you see in the market has its time of manifestation. Yes. Like I've said to you before, I am a very good farmer. You know, even till now, I still make some farm. If you go and plant, you know, corn or maize, within two to three months, you should expect harvest. Of course, that is the truth. And if you go and plant cassava, you have to be expecting harvest as from eight months, one year, and so one and a half years. Yes. You don't expect to just start a business today and expect it to be what? You know, prosperous tomorrow. Mm -mm. There's a time for it. If God establishes your business, you will not run heta scatter. I want to also let you know this. In the kingdom of the animals, you know, the animals does not produce the same time. Oh yes, they don't produce the same time. Ordinarily, if you want to talk about the mouse, that's the rat in the house, they produce within 21 days. Three good weeks. They already, you know, if they get pregnant, they already put to bed. And everywhere will be full. Oh, yes. But what about the elephant? They can never be the same. Elephant will, you know, be pregnant and will get to two years before they delivery. So why can't you wait for your business establishment? Wait for it to be established by God. And so look at where we read. He said, oh God, establish thou the work of my hands. May God establish the work of your hand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, I want you to get this clear, beloved. Get this clear. There is between three to five years for a palm tree to produce and you begin to get oil. <laughs> but all of them are businesses. So, what do you think? Oh, did you just think that your business, if you start it today, it will just prosper tomorrow or prosper in the less, you know, within one month? It means you never understood the business you entered. If you understand it very better, you will know that the business will have to go through some time before it finally established. I want to, you know, uh, 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 plead with you to be patient with that business. I want, to be plead, I want to plead with you not to covenant yourself with a devil just because you needed wealth, just because you needed prosperity. I am saying here that as long as you allow God to establish your business, you will get it early. If it is the production of a, a, a maize, if it is the production of the elephant, if it is the production of even the palm trees, the time that it finally comes to a fulfillment, which is the time God has, you know, a, a, a place for it, becomes a, an early satisfaction. Once it happens at that time, it's only if it goes beyond that time and it's not happening that you can say, ah, no, 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 this is not ordinary. Just like the case of the fig tree that ought to have produced at the very time and season that that tree is supposed to have fruit, 
Jesus came close and he found out there was nothing in it. Even though it was so succulent, it was so beautiful. And then that was why Jesus cursed that tree. I want you to wait until the very time that God will establish your business. Don't be too much in a hurry. Every man in haste misses the road. And so I want you to understand that the supernatural power of God ah, can break protocols even for your sake. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Oh yes, somebody tells you, ah, what did you know? What did you know, brother? If you know God, you have known everything. That is why I'm bringing this message to your way again. I want to say to you, God will bless you. God will bless the labor of your hands. You will be fruitful in all dimensions. God will give you grace to be patient so that by the time you are established, you will be able to say, oh God, hey, you are the reason for all of this. Thank you so much, my viewers. And once again, I am saying to you, remain blessed. That business that we have at any time had, you know, a discouragement in you, I pray the Lord will strengthen you. I pray that you will be able to wait at the appropriate time for it to produce, for it to be fruitful, so that you can be able to know that God has established your business. God bless you. Have we gone out of God's way before to begin to seek for how this business can pro progress? And you have just jumped into the kingdom of darkness. I am appealing strongly to you. It's a time for you to do a reverse. No matter how deep you may have gone, reverse. Yes, that's what God wants. He wants to establish you. He wants to establish you. Let the Lord God who created you be the one that established you. God bless you richly as you hear this word and then you take it to heart. Hallelujah. Here comes again the end of this episode. By the grace of God, ah, if you need prayers and you need counsel, beloved, there's nothing wrong. There are numbers and addresses that are scrolling on the screen. Just contact us. We will be there for you. In case you also want to represent us in your locality or in your nation, yes, you are free to do that. Just reach us through the address that is displayed on the screen. I remain your host, Pastor Dr. Dan Ogi. God bless you. See you next week, same time, same station. In Jesus' name. Amen.